Lucy, don't stop! I'm not! And don't look back! They're werewolves on us! Let's get to the bridge! Mark, buy me some time. Let me open the portal to Veo 3.1. I'm on it. What if I told you this entire 3D Pixar-style animation, from the forest, Lucy, to the characters, not, to the werewolves, werewolves, was all created using VEO 3.1? Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm showing you exactly how I used VEO 3.1, the newest AI model from Google DeepMind, to create my short animated story. Let's jump right in. Before generating anything, if you are new to the channel, you are welcome. Do subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. Thank you for supporting us. The View 3 AI has had a major and major update and upgrade that has been done to it, which is now View 3.1. And we are going to test out these products, View 3.1 AI, to see the kind of insane um, animation and video that it creates. So, stay with me to the end of this video you can see the video that played out at the beginning so we are going to look into how we are going to be able to create animations like that so first of all we are going to go to ChatGPT, and then we are going to ask ChatGPT to write us a prompt about a story we have so you're going to give it the story you have in your head and then you're just going to ask it to give you a script for that story and then it's going to build up a script for you which you are now going to use to make your um short animation so after getting your script we are now going to ask ChatGPT to write me a prompt to generate the scenes from the script then i'm going to give it a character description it's going to use for the two characters i'm going to be using in this story which is the male and the female so i'm going to give it a prompt or a description that it will use to generate when it comes to the um to the characters so wherever it's going to input the characters it's going to give me a clear description of how it's going to look like so after ChatGPT gives us our prompts for our prompts to generate the scenes we are going to move to higgs field ai where you can actually generate your scenes with the image generation they have integration of the nano banana they have integration of the one 2.2 which you can use to generate your scenes but for me i don't want to generate the scenes with these so i'm going to use an external um, ai to make the scenes then i'm going to use higgs field ai to make use of the view 3.1 ai to animate my scenes so i'm going to use the image effects to generate the scenarios so all i'm going to do is copy the prompt ChatGPT gave to me to generate the scenes and then i'm going to input it on um image effects which would then give me the results or which will now build up the image of for the scenes i'm about to create so stay tuned with me till the end of the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel so our first scene has been um has been generated so i can go ahead to download which one suits or suits better for what i want to do or if none of these scenes or none of the images generated are good enough I am going to, um, you know, regenerate the images to see if the next output would be better than the previous. But then if you don't have any objection to, to the image that has been generated or to the scene that has been generated, you can go ahead to download the image. You can go ahead to download the image. So let's go ahead to recreate and then see what we are going to have. But then if you are not getting a good output, as to what you have in mind you can go ahead to you know tweak or play around with the prompts to get a better output or a better generation so after this i'm still going to um, check which one is better and then i'm going to download an image for the scene i want to use then we would go ahead to create and generate other scenes so i move on to chat gpt copy the prompt for the scene too so once I copy the prompt for this into, I would come back to um, image effects and then I'm going to input my prompt here to download the image. Now remember, once you input your prompt and then you download the image, don't forget, once you get your output, make sure to download the image that you want to use and save it on your device. So here is the output for the second um, for the second scene now notes that I'm not keeping the characters consistent because 
I'm just making a sample video to explain and show you how view 3.1 works. So I'm going to just regenerate this. If we are going to use um, character consistency, you can actually use the Higgs field AI where you can build up characters and then you can use that to create consistent characters with the AI. And I'm going to make a video on that later on. So make sure to subscribe and um, like this video, comment, leave a comment, share, and also turn on post notifications so that you can stay updated when we post. So let's go ahead and try um, this scene three generation. So head back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt for the scene, then come back to image effects, input the prompt, and then I'm going to download this. Now that we are done with our image and scene generation, we are now going to move over to Higgs Field AI, Higgs Field AI, where we are going to animate our, our scenes. So I'm going to come to the video section for the Higgs Field AI. You can see there's also integration of the Sora 2 AI here, which you can actually use for a limited number of time for free. So we are going to make use of the view 3.1 AI to create our scenes or to animate our um, scenes. So this is what we are going to do. So you can see view 3.1 here, Google view 3.1. I'm going to click on that. So I will switch the model for my generation and then I'm going to input the image for my scene. Now, before we go ahead to animate the scenes, we are going to ask ChatGPT based on the prompt it has given to us for each of the scenes. It should generate us, it should give us a prompt that we are going to use to animate the scenarios. It should give us a prompt which we will use to animate the scenes. So once ChatGPT would give you, would start writing out the prompt um, for you to use to animate each of the scenes that was generated to you. So you can see it here. So it would line it out from scene one to scene seven that it gave to you. Then once it does that, you're going to now start copying. So what you now do for each of the scenes that matches the images, you copy the prompt to animate it and then give it to the AI and then it's going to give you your results. So we are going to copy this and go back to Higgs Field AI and then I'm going to input my first image for scene one and then I'm going to give it this prompt. So this is my first image for the scene one. Then I'm going to put down the prompt that ChatGPT gave to me to animate the scene. So once I do that right here, um, if you want this to talk, if you want your characters to have um, vocals or to talk in the background, you can actually write it down in the prompt what you want them to say. Do you want the male to talk? Do you want the female to talk? So you can always write it down in the prompt. Now let's go ahead to generate. You can see there's um, 720p and then there's also 1080p resolution to make your image better so i'm going to generate this with the 16 point by 9 ratio so let's go ahead and do our generation so i'm going to generate now as you can see here we are done with our video generations with our scenes generation so you can see i'm going to play the output for you to see um how the video looks like so you can see each of the videos that have been animated using the Google View 3.1. So let's check it out. You can see this. So this is absolutely great. Look at that. Beautiful. It's so opening. Compile, it's so much prettier than yesterday. The Try the side dial. All right. Well, did you? Lucy, don't stop. I'm not. And don't look back. Animation of the video. There are werewolves on us. So let's make get sure to, to stay the bridge. The end so that you can see Mark. the results for your. Buy me some time. Now you can see. The Let me open the portal to Veo 3.1. Veo 3.1 gave to us here. It is absolutely insane and beautiful. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications at this point. If this was interesting, please kindly leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So let's look at the outcome of each of the video or the outcome of our um, animation into the stories. So we've now copied or downloaded each of these scenes after you've generated them. So you can download them so that you can now merge them together to form your short story. So here, after downloading my animations that was generated with the Google View 3.1, I am going to use CapCut to merge them together to form the full animated story. So this is the result we had. 
It's opening. It's so much prettier than yesterday. Try the side dial. All right. Whoa. Did you? Something's definitely behind us. What do we do? We need to get out of here. Now. Lucy, don't stop. I'm not. And don't look back. There are werewolves on us. Let's get to the bridge. I've got you. Hold on. Mark, buy me some time. Let me open the portal to Veo 3.1. I'm on it. Lucy! Let's get out of here! I'm with you! Damn, Lucy, that was so scary. Where are we now? We're in the Veo 3.1 world. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also, leave a comment and make sure to turn on post notifications to stay updated when we post.